Good morning, everybody. It's a cold, rainy day outside today. I'm gonna put some new hot on here in the garage. I'm gonna do a little service on it, change the oil, air breather, check hydraulic fluid. Probably put a little grease to it today. And uh, I don't run with a few things with you guys here on it. But uh, I bought this tractor brand new back in 2004. And it's been a real good tractor. Haven't did much to it. Uh, normal maintenance. And, uh, and the only real big little issue I had was the key switch. I don't know. I'm on my second key switch. And uh, I'm gonna order another one for it. I don't know. There's something going on right there with it, but uh, not for sure what's happening there. But, but anyway, this is the 2004 New Holland, and uh, I put that uh, quick attach on the front of it probably eight or nine years ago, and you can see it there. Get down there, not it's that. ATI quick attach and actually watched quite a few videos for I bought it and asked Tractor Mike uh, video this is one that he recommends and I'm really happy with it and uh, I don't know we'll keep the hours on it see the hours 2,132 hours on it, and it's been a good tractor. Ain't did much to it. Uh, normal maintenance. Uh, I've had a key switch issue on it a little bit. That problem still ain't really solved that well. I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, I need to get another key switch order for it and see. Go from there, but but. Overall, it's been a real good tractor. One of my second set of front tires on it. Back ones are original. But I did notice they are starting to crack a little bit. So, I don't know uh, how long they last. A little bit longer, I'm sure. Right here, and I'm gonna show you guys this inverter valve for my third function. If you guys can see that down in there. Uh, light is kind of bad but uh it sits in there enough but what I did there that thing had a bracket to set on the side of this and I made that bracket set in there it's kind of hard to see and they're very good but you can see that bracket sits back in there and I just bolted on to the two bolts here might be a little better that holds that on and I can just take that side cover it it comes right off but I did that so it ain't hanging way out here and I put two release right there so if I take the front end loader off I just pop these two off and all that diverter stays on there and same with the side lights here I just got two plugs right there and drop them off but uh I don't know, I, ain't, I don't know about you guys but this loader ain't been off but two or three times since I've owned the tractor there's really no reason to take it off unless you're going to do a heavy service on it and you can get the few things a little better So that's why it didn't really bother me too much to do that. Cause I, I don't really never take this loader off. I have no reason to. So. But I thought I'd show you that if you guys can see it. There, everything's tucked in out of the way. Pretty nice. And being out here too, I don't have to worry about something catching on to it. Which probably should not ever happen, but just in case. So, but 
Yeah, I just want to show you that system there a little bit. You can see down in there. Not right there, but got the diverter valve, put it on. So, and my factory seat kind of got all ripped up, so. Uh, that is a pretty nice seat. I like it. It's comfortable. And every once in a while, I don't like the high back on it, but not very often. It, it bothers me. I think with the stump grinder is what I don't like the most about running that seat. It's hard to see, but that stump grinder is kind of weird anyway. It's the uh, T TSG Woods 50. I think the numbers aren't. But uh, that's why I got the second set of remotes back there for the stunt grinder. So, and that ports to the backhoe. It's the C753 New Holland backhoe. If I remember the numbers right. So, but just kind of give you a little tour of the tractor there. A little bit and so I've got the night light lights on it but, but we all put change change today on this thing get it ready I know it needs worst pretty bad but you know, time gets away from me when you get past 50 it's it's all over I think with time but then the blade, I gotta do a little maintenance to this blade here. Uh, I don't even know how old this thing is. But I got it off my neighbor years ago, it was sitting back in the woods, far at home. And, but I noticed, where's a, if you guys can see it. You can see that crack, a crack forming right there in that. So I'm gonna try to get that squeezed back together, weld it up. And I think this boat here, I need, I'm gonna tighten it up. And I might draw a hole in that thing and put a pin in it. See if it helps, but. But it's been a good blade, so. And I don't use a blade very often. Just kind of plow a drive if it snows and uh, grade the drive out there usually twice a year. Uh, once in the late fall and usually we put a little gravel on it in the spring and I grade it then. So usually a couple times a year I grade the driveway and push whatever snow we get. So. But that's the little quick tour of the New Holland. It's been a good tractor for me. So, and there's these lights I replaced. Them pretty cheesy lights that came with it, and I broke one and I put them lights there on. So, I think I got them tractor supplies. They're just a, a boat light, marine light, I guess what you call it. All right, I'm gonna see if I get the plug back in this thing, get some oil in it, and get it all ready. And so thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, thumbs up, and hopefully see you next time.